Happy Halloween! It's, uh, it's a bit weird shooting a video uh, on the morning of Halloween when it's all foggy like this. I mean, it's beautiful, but it's, it's, it's also kind of creepy. Good morning. First off, this is not a mystery box unboxing video. I know exactly what's in this. For the record, we all know nowadays how expensive YouTube and vlogging can be. So you've got your camera costs, you've got your microphone costs, and then you've got a thousand different other costs associated with buying all the accessories you need to put together a high quality video. So once you've done that and you've spent all that money, there is literally no guarantee that your project will be a success and make money. Theoretically, you could spend about £3,000 on the best equipment, but possibly you might only get like 20 to 50 views, like I do on most videos. YouTube won't let you make any money until you've gained 10,000 views. If your videos are only getting 50 views a time, you're going to need 250 videos in total to breach that 10,000. If you're uploading on a weekly basis that's 52 so that's going to take you about 3.85 ish years or about four rounded that's not a great return on investment the best way of making money in all new business adventures is to keep your cost low so this lowers your break-even point which makes it easier to make a profit so you've gone past the amount you spent trust me I have a bachelor in science in business management so if you only spend £100, you'd only need to make £100 before you broke even, or get to the break even point. And anything above that is profit. So 100 breaks even, 101 profit, 102 profit, 3, 4. So today we're going to find out what happens if you take that theory to the extreme. I don't mean to put you off, I, don't, I really don't mean to put you off, and I'm really sorry if I have, but the thing is that the rough ratio is about £1 to 1,000 views. So, if we took that £3,000 investment, you're going to need about 3 million views before you break even. That's, that's kind of a really tall order, 3 million views. So what about my setup? So this is my setup, it's a Canon 700D, that was around about 400 quid in the sale. Uh, I've got a Rode Mic Go here, I think that was about 90 quid. Uh, Gorilla Pod, that was about another 30 quid, and the internal memory card, that was about 40 quid. So in total, that's 560 pound. This is generally your basic YouTuber starter pack. Even this is a lot of investment for something that might or might not take off. So today we're going to find out if we take this to the extreme of keeping your costs low and make a video using only 10 pounds worth of camera material and equipment. And in this box, I have a camera I bought from eBay for £6.50. Here we go. Oh, garbage bag. Always a good sign. Oh, bubble wrap! Oh! <sighs> yep. Cool. Ah, there she is. And she works all right. Oh wow, look at this thing. It's actually really, it's a really nice design. Yeah, it's definitely the one I ordered. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it looks sleek, it looks lovely, and uh, oh dear, wow. Okay, let's, let's try and do, oh no. Oh, yeah, no. Well, it's a bit better. Yeah, you could, you could work with that over here. The only problem is, this didn't come with a memory card, so I had to buy this from my friend, Barry. Thanks Barry. Barry sold me this for three pound instead of letting me borrow it for the day. The total cost of this production is nine pound and fifty p. It's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> this is such a stupid idea. Oh, this is not a good idea. No, I don't think anyone's gonna want to watch this. Let's have a fourth wall break. This is me looking at my setup, recording me looking at my setup. 
And this has zoom. However, for a £9.50 camera, you would only need 9,500 views before you broke even. So once your monetization is enabled, you would start making profit. Oh, by the way, make sure to like, share and subscribe so we can actually test this theory of if this video makes 9,500 views, we can test to see if I broke even on it. Right, so what is this camera? It is a Samsung, as you can probably maybe not see that. For all you tech guys out here, this is a Samsung SMX C10 LP XEU. If that helps you or you want to stick up for it or whatever in the comments below, but that's what this camera is. It's about 10 years old. I found out it's about 10 years old, so you're going to have to forgive me when we switch. So how will I judge this? Well, I made a video uh, a couple months ago about my blood donation. And coincidentally today, on Halloween, I have to go for another blood donation. Don't worry, I'm not going to be showing any needles or anything like that, so you're fine. That video was shot on my iPhone. So now we're going to compare the two by me switching over to this. In three, two, one. Good morning and welcome to 2007. Okay, so the picture looks kind of awful from here and I'm really sorry about that. But what did you expect for less than £10? <laughs> So we will be shooting today, the rest of today's video on this. If you can bear with it, thank you. And please stay with me. If you can't, I won't hold it against you. Oh, 2007 Paul, that boy was a mess. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. It's really like sensitive. Wow. Train ticket. Now I just gotta get my train. Can we focus in on that? Mm -hmm. Happy Halloween! So we're currently at the station in Shepparton waiting for the train and here we set up the camera. It's on a nice little tripod. What I'm gonna do now is do a comparison between this and the iPhone. What I like about this camera is it's really lightweight, it's really nice and easy to use, it's really quite friendly however it has to be set up at a weird angle for it to work so because of this design feature here it has to be set at like a weird angle this is like at 45 degrees to get like a flat shot so that was kind of a mistake on Samsung's part but you know Okay, test over. Time to carry on with the blood donation. So yeah, this is my favourite park in London, just around the corner from where I went to uni, and here it is. So just finished up with the blood donation place, and uh, here's my, like, ouchie. 
to prove that I did it. And now I'm in my favourite park having lunch because it's nice and quiet here. We found super fine mode, which I don't know if it's making a difference or not, but who knows. So this is my favourite park for one reason that it's just away from the hustle and bustle. It's just around the corner from the uni and it's just beautiful and just this like port in the store of London. So just at Waterloo, thought we'd decide to try out the time lapse up there because it's the busiest, one of the busiest stations in London. So currently, if you can't tell, I'm at Waterloo. Yeah, here's my train. I've had a successful day. It's been brilliant, and it's time to go home. I really like this camera. And it's really lightweight and easy to use. Six pound success. Go back in Shepparton. I'm gonna do it this way. There we go, back in Shepparton now, walking backwards because of the light. Because this thing is not very good. There's no actual sunlight today. It's just. Oh, it's, it's okay from the side. Actually, much better from that angle. I can walk forward now. So, yeah. Interesting day today. Very interesting day indeed. And yeah. Can't wait to see what this looks like in the upload and the edit. It's the day after my blood donation. I've got a bit of an, an oopsie here. I'll show you a picture of it uh, on my other camera because you can't really see it on this one. Uh, so right, conclusion time. Do I think you could build an audience using this camera? No. Do I personally hope? Yes, I think there is a little bit of me that thinks there might be some people into it you could get a niche market going, but you would take a lot of time and effort, and probably is much more likely to fail. I mean, it's it's only like six megapixels or something, and the sound quality is not that great. Looking at the first draft, obviously the resolution isn't that great, and you know because you have to prop it at the weird angle, it's just not not a very practical vlogging camera. Best part of this camera, it's definitely it's design, it definitely looks better than what it is. So, you know, if you saw it, you'd be like, oh, it looks like a swish camera. And then I would also have to say the usability as well. Like, it's very intuitive to use, very simple menu option, and just, you know, pick up and play. I'm thinking if I ever got another camcorder, I would get one of these type shapes. Because it was so nice just being able to put it in your pocket and go in somewhere without, you know, this clunky DLSR that, you know, just screams to people. If you're walking down the street, it just screams, mug me, because, you know, I've got a lot of money on my chest. <laughs> Where, like, you know, one of these, you just put in your pocket and you just look like your average Joe. The worst things about this camera, quality of the picture. It's 10 years old, so you have to forgive it. And the fact that you have to hold it at the weird angle, but we've mentioned that multiple times now. So would I recommend you using this for your videos? No, I would use your iPhone, your, your Samsung, or your whatever, just, you, your cell phones nowadays have much better quality. If we compare this blood donation video to the last blood donation video, that was done on one of these, this one was done on this. This wins, hands down. And, you know, while this is expensive, most people do have one of these as just a thing nowadays. They have to have... Yeah, I have to have it. Now, here's a really important question. Will I keep this camera? Yes. Yes, I'm not going to put it back on eBay. I'm not going to resell it or anything like that. I'm going to keep it for one thing. Flashback mode! It's just a great effect. It's okay. I think it's going to be really funny. I won't have to pay for like to get the image like this because this £6.50 camera does this for me anyway. Do I regret buying it? No. It was £9.50. I mean, it's not the end of the world money, and to make a video on £9.50 is, is, is quite cheap. 
it's been a fun experience it's waking up not knowing if this thing's going to actually work and then it did and then we got the video up and now you're seeing this the question that's on everybody's mind right now is will this video make 9,500 views and will I break even? I don't know. But if it does, I will keep you updated in the comments or in the description or somewhere. Alright, adios and have a good day. Actually. That is so much, that's so cool. Win.